So moving on now, the next category is the transport category. And the winner of that was Bodrum International Airport by Taban Lioglu Architects. Hi, nice to meet you. If you could sit here, please. You can use that microphone. So introduce yourself and also correct my pronunciation of the name of the architects. Okay, it was good. Taban Lioglu. We can say son of the soil. Son of the soil is yeah. the name. Okay. Yeah. And, um, because my grandfather was a um, shoemaker in Ankara. At his time, he made these leather, uh, not the real shoes, like uh, socks. And I think the name is coming. Yeah. And it's a very nice, modest, <coughs> humble name. Mm -hmm. But your project is an enormous airport. Yes. Yeah. Airports are like this. They are big machines. And uh, the city, this is uh, Bodrum, is my, let's say, my second city. Um, in summer, I'm always there since 20 years. I have a house there also. And... Um, <coughs> As I said earlier, it, they made many competitions in Turkey, and this was um, the last one. And it was uh, national competitions. We won the competitions before many years ago, uh, but n uh, nobody wanted to, to make it because it's a summer uh, resort airport. And now it's visible, but because it's more visitors, um, this is a for or five million passengers. Capacity now they are about two million, and um, but the main idea was to make a very mm, a simple airport. Uh, it's just a, a massive box and then a, a big glass bridge uh, which is looking to the north where the airplanes are coming. That was the starting point, <coughs> and uh, to use also local materials was very important. Um, we search in the area many quarries and uh, we find a very nice marble uh, for the flooring. And uh, then I wanted a nice ceiling, not a standard ceiling from the market. But of course we had to work with the ceiling people and then um, in Turkey we have like bamboos here, uh, we have the sas and um, we made them with aluminium tubes and uh, it's in three dimensional ceiling and it's, uh, if you go to the building, it's uh, one image. So you have one ceiling and one stone, and then white walls. Um, the last project we saw was a very sort of green, eco-friendly yeah. building, and, uh, and this is an airport. Do, do you, as an architect, does it trouble you that you're building something that involves people flying around the world, or do you mm -hmm. think that this kind of development is important? And Yeah, um, of course, as I said, these are big machines. So you are coming with the airplane, and in a climate like Bodrum, everybody, everybody wants, like in this building, everyone, that they push the klima, you know. But we, we tried, uh, first of all, the envelope was very important. Uh, um, the north facade is a very transparent facade, but still a very good class. And um, I think the, the thing is starting with the envelope of the building. And uh, natural ventilation, uh, we have a night cooling, but it's very difficult to make in a building like this, in engineering for, um, I think, uh, totally without klima. It's very risky. But I think in the, in the future it will be more and more because we are learning from uh, smaller scales to go to the bigger scales. Mm. And um, I think Hassan Fatih, if you remember, uh, from Egypt, he was one of the first architects. Uh, he has a nice book, Architecture for the Poor. You can learn about it. He made. He showed us how you can make housing with natural ventilation. And so you've been trying to apply this to yeah. as far as possible yeah. to an airport. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone talks about the kind of fast-growing economies of the Far East, but Turkey is also growing really yeah. fast, isn't it? Um, because as you remember, in year 2000, we had the big earthquake. That was the first shock for us, big crisis afterwards, and then we had the second bank crisis, and we learned how to uh, be in the crisis. And now the, this world crisis that we have since some years, uh, our prime minister is saying we are touching it, so we are, it's like a tangent, so, because we know already how to deal it. And it's looking better in Turkey than in all Europe countries. That's, People are saying we don't want to go to do, join the EU anymore because what's EU now in these days? Um, a, bit I, like, a bit like the British. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the, the thing is, um, and he said also everyone should get three 
uh, babies, you know. Really? Yeah. They want to grow the population. Yeah. Be before he, of, uh, him, all the business people said uh, uh, no big population, and he is for population because we, we can see India, China, also our country with their populations, um, they are very important, you know. So, so the population It's a family is, economy, you know. Yeah. We, uh, the daughter is working, the brother, um, and if you select all of them, you have the money, you know. It's not like in your country. Okay, well maybe we should get you to the UK to do a separate talk on how Turkey is avoiding the economic crisis, because I thought that <laughs> okay. is something everyone would like to know about. Okay. But thank you very much, congratulations on winning the category, and good luck later Thank on. you very much. Nice to meet you. Bye. Thank you.